Google has just announced a new era of AI-powered search that will change the way we find information, shop online, and interact with the web. Seriously, this is massive. This is one of the most insane things I've ever seen from Google, and I'm going to tell you all about it. In this video, I'm going to explain what Google's new AI search is, how you can access it right now, who are the rising competitors in this space, and what this means for the future of search technology. You definitely don't want to pass up on this, so let's get started. So what is Google's new AI search and why should you care? Well, as you may know, Google is the undisputed leader in search engine technology. It handles billions of queries every day and provides us with relevant results in a fraction of a second. However, Google isn't content with just being the best. With the increasing popularity of AI chatbots, people have started seeking answers from them instead of using Google. In order to benefit from this trend, Google decided to incorporate AI into its search engine. Even though Google has been using AI for years to improve its search algorithms, now they are taking it to the next level with generative AI, which basically is a type of AI that can create new content or data from scratch based on existing data or inputs. So Google is using generative AI to enhance its search experience and provide us with more interactive, engaging, and creative results. And they call this Search Generative Experience, or SGE for short. As you may seen, Google announced SGE at its annual developer conference, Google I.O., in May 2023. It was one of the highlights of the event and generated a lot of hype among AI and tech enthusiasts and experts. Google said that SGE is the result of years of research and development in generative AI and that it will revolutionize the way we use search. So what is SGE exactly and how does it work? Well, SGE is a collection of AI-driven features that aim to make search more conversational, contextual, and creative. One of the main features of SGE is that it makes search more conversational. This means that you can use natural language to chat with Google and get answers to your queries. You don't have to type keywords or phrases anymore. For example, if you want to find out how to make pizza at home, you can just say, Hey Google, how do I make pizza? And Google will respond with a summary of the steps and ingredients from a relevant website. You can then ask follow-up questions like, What kind of cheese should I use? Or how long should I bake it? Etc. This conversational feature makes search more intuitive and natural. You don't have to think about how to phrase your query or what keywords to use. You can just ask whatever comes to your mind. Another feature of SGE is that it makes search more contextual, which means that Google can understand the context of your query and provide you with more relevant and personalized results based on your location, preferences, history, and other factors. For example, if you ask, what's the weather like today? Google will show you the weather forecast for your current location based on your device's GPS data. If you ask, where can I buy flowers? Google will show you nearby florists based on your location and availability. If you ask, what should I watch tonight? Google will show you recommendations based on your watch history and interests. So basically you don't have to specify details or parameters anymore. And then the most exciting feature of SGE is that it makes search more creative. This means that Google can use generative AI to create new content or data for you based on your query or input. Like, if you ask, show me some cool sneakers, Google will show you images of sneakers that don't exist yet, but are generated by AI based on your style preferences and current trends. If you ask, write me a poem about love, Google will write a poem for you using AI based on your mood and tone preferences, so you don't have to settle for existing content or data anymore. Now, you're probably wondering how you can access it right now. Well, there are two ways to do that, through Search Labs or through Performance Max. Search Labs is a new program where you can try out new features before they're available to everyone. You can join by signing in to google.com slash labs and find experiments like chat mode or image generation and you can enable or disable experiments and use them by adding a hashtag to your search query search labs is invite only for now but they should expand it soon and the second way performance max which is a campaign type in google ads for advertisers it helps them reach customers across google's platforms using ai advertisers create a campaign Provide information and assets and use SGE to generate custom assets. Performance Max optimizes ads and shows them to relevant customers. All right, now, this space is getting really competitive with lots of players involved. One of the top competitors is Vectara, 
a startup that claims to offer a better generative AI conversational search platform than Google. Vectora says that its platform is different from Google's because it uses hybrid search, which combines semantic search, based on LLMs, and Boolean exact match, based on keywords, to find the most relevant results from millions of documents. It also uses grounded generation, which means that its generative system only relies on facts and data provided by the developers and does not train models on users' data or make up things that are not true. Vectora also says that its platform is language agnostic platform that supports queries and data in any language and offers cross-language search results. It prioritizes user privacy by not storing or sharing personal data. Founded in 2022 by former Google engineers, Vectara has raised $25 million in funding and partnered with companies like Shopify, Slack, and Spotify. For example, Goldman Sachs analyst Heather Bellini said that Vectara is a disruptor in the AI search space and that it could capture a significant portion of the market by offering a better user experience and more accurate results. Of course, Google and Vectara are not the only players in the AI search space. There are many other tech companies that are also integrating generative AI into their search experiences and competing for a share of this market. And one of them is Microsoft, which has been using AI to improve its Bing search engine for years. Microsoft has recently announced several new features for Bing that use generative AI such as Bing Answers, which provides direct answers to queries. Bing Image Generator, which creates images based on text descriptions. Bing Content Creator, which writes content such as summaries or captions based on keywords, etc. Another one is Elasticsearch, which is a popular open source search engine that powers many websites and applications. Elasticsearch has recently launched Elasticsearch Generative Search, EGS, which is a new service that lets developers use generative AI models from Google and others to quickly build Changer for Google and that it could add $100 billion to its revenue by 2025. As for Microsoft and Elasticsearch, their stock prices have also seen some positive movements since they announced their new features for generative AI search. However, their gains have been more modest compared to Google and Vectara as they face more competition and challenges in this space. Search engines have evolved over time, going through three major phases, information retrieval engines, answer engines, and now, action engines. Information retrieval engines were the early search engines that appeared in the 1990s and early 2000s, like AltaVista and Yahoo. They provided users with a list of links based on keywords and links. However, they had limitations as they relied on users typing specific keywords and often returned irrelevant results. Answer engines like Google and Bing emerged in the late 2000s and early 2010s. They used AI techniques to provide direct answers to users' queries without requiring them to visit external websites. Despite their usefulness, they still had limitations, such as not understanding emotions or preferences behind queries and sometimes providing biased results. Now we have action engines powered by advanced AI techniques. These engines, like ChatGPT and DALI, can generate new content based on user queries using conversational interfaces. They offer personalized results tailored to users' style preferences and current trends. However, action engines face challenges regarding trust in AI-generated content and finding a balance between creativity and realism. So, the change is happening. Google's stepping up its game with AI, and it's going to change how we search for things. Pretty cool, right? But what do you think? How will this change how you use the internet? Don't forget, this is a journey we're all on together. Click subscribe and give this video a thumbs up to stay in the loop. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.